welcome to this episode of Container Gardening. My name is Adolfo Pena. I'm a farmer and also a teacher. And I'm here today to show you how to plant a seed. So, just a quick rundown on some of the things you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need a seed. I have selected cucumber seed because you have a very short germination period. You're going to need your two containers where you're going to plant your seeds in. Um, you could choose a plastic bottle, a gallon bottle, cut it in half and put some holes at the bottom of it. Of course, you need a hole so the water can percolate. You don't want when you plant your seeds, the water stays in the container and make it too moist, which can cause fungus and bacteria to form and prevent your seed from germinating. We also need water. Right? We need some water. You know, plants need water in order to grow. Here we have our soil and our shovel or spoon, use whatever you have. Um, yeah, so, so the first thing we're going to do, well, of course, I already sterilized my container. The reason why I'm going to sterilize them or the reason why I sterilize them is because you don't want your seeds to get any pathogens on them. Pathogens is basically the organism that cause disease and bacteria and of course if diseases and bacteria gets on your seed it can hamper it from growing or even developing properly so i sterilize them with some clorox water so here are my containers as you can see i already bore my holes in here so the water can percolate as i said before so i'm gonna get some soil you could use your hand Feel free to use your hands. I'm just using my shovel. I'm going to pour some soil into the container. Pour some soil into the next container. Right, soil contains minerals and nutrients where the plants plant needs to go. Nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and other micronutrients magnesium and zinc and boron all these elements all these um, nutrients the plants needs to go so here i have my my soil and after i pour my soil i'm going to select my seed you can choose whatever seed you want i prefer to use cucumber seed because i get you know much faster germination and I'm going to pour about four seeds in this small container. Of course, if you have a much bigger container, you could pour some more than that. There you go. So I already placed my seeds, as you can see again. I have my seeds in my container. Now I'm going to put some more soil on top of it to call my seeds. There you go. After we have done so, we can get some water, just a small amount, not too much, and you pour your water in your container. Now this is going to activate the seed so the seed could germinate, right? Because without the water, the seed will not be able to germinate. And after you have done so, what you want to do is to place your container in an airway shade. The reason for that is... Because it's a seed, it's a, let's call it a baby seed, you don't want to expose it to the, to the elements so quickly because it's not strong enough to withstand the elements. Sunshine, you know, we live in a tropical region, so at times, uh, most of the time, our weather condition is very hot. So you want to place it somewhere where you can get some light and enough shade, adequate amount of shade. You could put it on your, close to your bedroom window or on your gallery. Anyway, outside, as long as you have enough shade, right? And you're going to put it there and you're going to leave it. Depends on what you're growing. We are using cucumber. So we should see some germination taking place in four days. Four days stops, you should see the seeds start germinating. And one of the reasons also, if you're supposed to take the seeds and plant them outside directly, as I said, they won't grow because they're not strong enough. So this is basically a nursery we're going to keep it in until the plant is strong enough to go into your garden where it can withstand the elements 
and hopefully go into a healthy plan where you can plant you know just to see how they're going check on your see to see how it's going and we'll continue to add more videos so you can see the different stages and you could learn you know what a cucumber tree look like and what we need to do in order to take it from the planting stage to harvest harvesting stage so stay tuned for more episode on container gardening